Thank you, everyone, for joining us today here at Levittown Public Library Stretch Fusion class with Debbie. It is uh, Mar uh, May 23rd, approximately 1.30 p.m. Uh, go ahead, Debbie. All right. Thank you very much. Hey, everyone. Welcome to class today on this nice weekend. And we will get started with a slow march working on our balance, our coordination, which are all very important things for us to do. So let's pump the arms, slowly bring the knees up, and here we go, bring it up for one, and two, here's three, four, and that's five, six, seven, Eight, now fold the arms and one, but try not to stop the legs when you change the arms. Here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fingers up for one, legs keep going, and two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, drop the elbows and one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with a little twist for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back to center, no twist for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fingers stay up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fold the arms for one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, fingers down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. We're going to circle the arms, get the shoulders, joints, and muscles nice and warm. Just bring them up and around as big as you safely can. And two, Here's three and four, but try squeezing the shoulder blades on the way down. And that's five, six, seven, and eight. And now go in reverse for one. Keep a nice continuous movement. And two, here's three and four. That's five, six, seven, and eight. Good, we're gonna warm up the hip muscles by taking that right knee, bringing it over to the left and around, eight circles in each direction. So just bring that leg up and around. And two, here's three, and four. Big or small, it's up to you. Here's five, and six, seven, and eight, and now reverse the circle out and around the one. And two. Here's three. If it's too many, you do less. Here's four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so other leg, you want to be even. So take that left leg, bring it over to the right and around. And two. Here's three. Four, that's five, six, seven, and eight, and reverse your circle out and around for one, and two, here's three, four, that's five, six, two more, here's seven, and eight, or rather. So we're gonna be tapping our shoulders in between each move. We're gonna reach up for two 
out for two, to the sides for two, and down for two. And we're gonna repeat that a few times. So slowly just reach it up, bring it down. And again, reach up and out to the front. Reach out and, and out. Now to the sides, bring it out. Like somebody's pulling your arms in separate directions and out, now to the floor, taking it down and down. Good, again, up, bring it up, reach and up. Reach out front to the front and front to the sides now. Reach out like somebody's pulling you apart and sides. Now to the floor, reach down like you can touch. And let's do it again. One more time, up and up. Then we're gonna do our arms alternating front and front to the sides. Reach out and out, reach it down and down, good, just stretching in different directions. We're gonna take it one arm at a time, up, out. So just thinking two, but we're gonna be doing it alternating. All right, so a little brain challenge for the afternoon. All right, here we go, taking it with that left arm first. So reach up for two, front, front, for two, side, side, for two, floor, down, for two, up again, reach up, and up, reach front, front, and front, reach left and right, reach to the floor, left and right. One, two more sets, up and up and front and front, to the side, to the side, down, down and down. We're gonna go faster, up, up, front, front, side, side, down and down. All right, so that's our little brain teaser. Okay, all right, you're just gonna hug your imaginary tree. You're gonna open that left arm out to the left, stretching out the muscles and that right leg out to the side. So a little bit of balance. And if you need the chair for any reason, have the chair handy in case. So taking it out, not fast, nice and slow and controlled. And here we go, left arm, right leg, bring it out for one, take it down and two. Here's three, also practicing your balance a little bit, and four, here's five, and six, here's seven, and eight. Good, let's take it to the other arm, other leg. Here we go, bring it out for one, and two, here's three, and four, that's five, six, seven, one more, and eight. Good, let's alternate that, see if we can do that. So it's going to be left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. And here we go, taking it out for one. Other side, two and three, just coming side to side and four. Here's five, opposite arm, opposite leg and six. Here's seven and eight. Good, now same thing to the front. You're gonna drop that left arm, lift that right knee up, then the other side, and then alternate it. So here we go, taking it for one and two. Here's three and four. That's five, six, seven, and eight. Other side for one and two. Here's three, four, get ready, and five, six, seven, and eight. The left arm, right leg starts us off. Here we go, alternating it for one and two. Here's three and four, good to smile, and five. Here's six and seven and eight, and bringing the arms down. All right, good job with that. So I want you within your shoes, or if you don't have shoes on, I just want you to ground yourself feeling either the inside of your shoes or the floor. Almost wiggle your toes a little bit, just grabbing the floor. And now try to distribute your weight evenly and without lifting your foot, lifting the heel, lifting the toes, just lean slightly forward. If you need the chair nearby, 
we're not going too far. So you're just kind of shifting the weight forward. You almost can't see any movement. Then just shift the weight back a little bit. Shift the weight forward. You can kind of feel it on the front of your foot. Shift the weight back. And again, just the whole body leans forward a little bit. Leaning back one more time. Shift the weight forward and shift the weight back. And now just come to your neutral position the way you just normally stand without even thinking of shifting weight forward or back. So within your shoes, if you have shoes on, you're just going to lift your toes all the way up within the shoes and then just lower them down. Lift the toes up and lower down. So not the heels, the front of the feet. Lift the toes up, lower down. Two more. Lift just the toes up. Lower down one more time, lift the toes up and lower down. All right. So we're going to be lifting our right leg and right arm up for four, then lowering it for four. And then we're going to do some variations on that. So the same arm, same leg coming up at the same time. So here we go, lifting it up, two, three, four, take it down, two, three and four. And again, slowly come up, two, three, four and down, two, three, four. Again, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, one more time. Bringing it up, two, three, four and down, two, three and four. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take that right arm and left leg doing the same thing. Getting a little dry back talking. So let's try the exact same thing. This right arm, left leg. Up for four, down for four. So here we go. Bringing it up. Two, three, four. And down. Two, three, four. And again, bring it up. Two, three, four. And down two, three, and again, bring it up, two, three, four, down, two, three, one more time, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, and four. All right, so now we're going to do it with the left arm, left leg. Same thing. And ready, here we go, up, two, three, four, and down two, three, four, and again, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, bring it up, two, three, four, down, two, three, one more time, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, and four. All right, so the last thing left is that left arm with our right leg, and same thing. So slowly come up for a count of four. This is three, four, and down, two, three, and four, and again, bring it up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, two more times, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three last time, come up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, and four. All right, good job with that. A little, little bit harder than you think it would be, a little challenging the brain, challenging the body. All right, so we're going to take it with a little bit of a wider stance. We're bringing the arms to the side. We're just going to take it into some flowing, what they call dynamic stretching. Some stretches are going to be with movement, mermaid arms like we've done before. Your left arm is gonna come, um, right arm is coming up and over to the left and vice versa. We'll just be moving the arms like that but to the full range of motion. So right arm up to the left, left arm reaches through when and gone as far as you can, just come all the way up to the other side and reach. Reach as far as you can, but safely. All the way up and over for two and other side. And again, reach it up for three. And other direction. 
We're gonna go for two more sets, reaching it up for four. And other side. Last time, bringing it up for five. And all the way over, other side. And bringing it down. So we're stretching sideways. We're gonna be doing some more forward motions where we're gonna be giving ourselves some hugs. So bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, take them all the way down, out to the sides. Breathe normally, reach down and back, open up the chest and let your arms flow forward. The right arm is higher than the left, giving yourself hugs and open it up. We're gonna alternate at a quicker pace. And here's two and open and three and open. We're gonna count to eight here, taking it for four and open, reaching front and back. Here's five, Give yourself a nice hug, you deserve it. Here's six and open, two more counts, taking it for seven and reach one more and eight and reach and bring the arms down. So from here, we're just gonna do a little bit of, think of a ragdoll, floppy arms coming towards your opposite hips as you just swing your body. So just swing carefree and just swing it over, floppy arms. And that's two and three, just swinging it about. And four, here's five. We're gonna do two sets of eight, that's six, seven, eight, and again for one and two. Here's three and four, that's five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so we're gonna take it into like a little bit of a split stance. And you have the option, just hold your hands in a prayer position and you don't have to bend your knees. If you wanna bend your knees a little bit, it still challenges your balance, but we're gonna twist all the way to the right. So your right leg should be forward. So we're twisting towards the direction of the leg that is forward and taking it over to that right, back to the center and over to the right again. Don't force any twists and bring it back. Taking it for three and back two more. Here's four and back one more and five and back. So we're gonna take it into a little bit of a lateral twist, reaching the left elbow towards that right thigh. If you need, if your legs are too close together, you may feel a little off balance. So we're just gonna take it down as if we're twisting. You don't have to touch, just look with a slight bend and bring yourself back up. One more that that, taking it down into that slight bend and bringing it back up and bring the arms down, carefully switch your feet taking it as low as is safe for you, but you don't have to go low at all. Back to our little bit of our prayer hands, taking it with a twist to the left, nice and slow and gentle, twisting as far as you safely can, coming back to the center, taking it for two, and bring it back, and here's three, two more coming up, taking it down for four, and back, last one, here's five, and back. Taking it into that little bit of a twist. So now that right elbow comes down towards the left thigh as you just kind of look forward and around and bring yourself back up. One more time like that, dipping that right elbow, lifting the left, and bringing yourself back up and bringing your feet parallel. So we're going to take it into a standing version of cat-cow. You have a couple of options. We want to warm up and, and keep that spine nice and flexible. So you can either reach to the back of the chair, you can reach to the seat of the chair, or you can place your hands on your thighs. Have a flat back. And I'm going to tuck my tail and push my upper back towards the ceiling as I push the back away, stretching out the back, and now slowly coming down, chest up, tail up, 
And again, tuck the hips, look down between your feet and slowly come back, chest up, tail up. Two more, tucking the chin, tucking the hips, look down toward between the feet and bringing yourself all the way back up. And one more time, tuck the tail, tuck the chin, press that back away and bringing yourself all the way back up, rolling it up safely. <laughs> so we're gonna do what's called a shimmy. We're gonna also do, also do that seated. I'm gonna bring my hands out to the side. Imagine that your hips and your body is kind of cut in half and you're sliding the upper half away, but your hips don't move. We don't want the hips to move side to side but we want the upper body to move to the left, getting a stretch in the sides and then move to the right. And again, slide the body over to the left and to the right. If your arms get tired, you can always lower them down. Slide them over for three and other side. So the lower body shouldn't be moving at all. Taking it over for four and other side. One more each side, sliding it for five and other side and bringing the arms down. All right, we're gonna use the back of our chair, stepping back, stretching out the front of the legs. And then we're gonna actually do a roll down, rolling down to just the seat of the chair and rolling ourselves back up. So hands are at the back of the chair. You can take that right leg, step it back as far as you can. You want your head to be the top of the triangle so we don't wanna be leaning forward if we can help it. And now press that right hip forward a little bit, feeling a stretch. If you're able to, if you don't have knee issues and you're able to lower down a little bit, you're gonna feel the stretch deep. And if that's not good for you, then don't. So your body is up nice and tall. You're just lowering your knee down a little bit, pushing that hip forward. And now just slowly come up. You're gonna lower your back heel to the floor, feeling a stretch in the calf. And now still in this position, you're gonna lower your chest down to the floor or your head down towards the top of the chair, getting a stretch in the back of your front leg. So just keeping that back nice and flat, lowering your body down. And slowly bring yourself back up. And we're gonna switch our foot position. So bring that left leg back, trying to keep a nice triangle at the bottom, heads at the top. Push your left hip forward. And if you can, lower your body down a little bit to deepen that stretch, but don't lean. If you're, this bothers your knees in any way, straighten up. And now we are gonna come up, lower the back heel as much as you can. And now flat back, leaning forward. Feeling that stretch in the back of your front leg. And slowly bringing yourself back up. So before we do a little bit of a roll down, we're gonna place that right heel out Heel down, toe up. We've done these seated. We're just going to lean forward towards that foot, almost like you're taking a bow. And slowly come back up. One more time. Slowly come down. And back up. Switching to the other leg. Heel down, toe up. And just leaning down towards that leg, not putting any pressure on that straight leg. And bringing yourself back up one more time, slowly taking it down. And coming back up. All right. So we're going to take it into a little bit of a roll down where you're almost going to dive over your chair, bringing the arms up and just reaching your fingertips towards the seat of the chair. If that's not good for anyone, you can just bring the arms up and then just bring them out front. So again, don't do anything that is not good for you. Take a nice deep inhale up. Exhale as you just dive over, breathing normally, keeping your hands on the seat of the chair for support. 
and slowly roll yourself up, bring the arms up as you inhale, exhale as you bring the arms down. We're gonna go one more time like that, inhale up, exhale as you just dive over the chair, breathe normally, inhale up, exhale as you bring the arms back to the sides and breathe normally. So before we have a seat, we're just going to do a couple of little things. So we're going to take it into hands with light fists on either side of your chest. And you're just going to place your right foot in front of the left, like you're on a tightrope. You're going to arc the leg back like you're making a sideways smiley face. So just arc the leg back as you open the arms. Slide the foot forward as you close. Open up and bring them together. Three more, open it up and together. Last two, bring it out and together. Last one, taking it out and together. Bring your feet parallel, bring the hands down. We're gonna take it into a semi-squat chair-like position. So slowly come down, slide your right leg out to the side, open up the arms. Slide the right leg back in and come up. Slowly come down, slide the leg out, bring it in and up. We're going for three more, slowly take it down, slide it out, bring it in. Two more left, taking it down and to the side, to the center. Last one, taking it down to the side, to the center, and up. So now the palms face up, your right leg comes back a little bit. And now as you curl the arms, you're gonna step back even more. So curl and just step back and come forward. As I step back, I'm lowering my heel to the floor. Step back, trying to stretch out the calf and take it forward, not all the way forward. Back to three and forward and four. One more, and five, and bring it back. Good, bring your hands back on the either side of your chest. Now that left leg comes in front, and you're gonna arc that around as you open the arms. So open the arms, arc the leg back, slide it in front, slide it back, and in front. All good moves for balance and coordination. Back, and in front, two more, taking it back, and front, one more, bring that leg back, and in front, feet are parallel, hands are down, back into your chair position, but this time the other leg comes out to the side. So slowly come down, slide that left leg out, slide it back in, bring your body up. Taking it down for two, slide it out, and in, and up. Taking it down for three, slide out, Slide in, two more, here's four. Slide it out and in, one more. Out and in and up. Good, taking the palms forward, taking your left foot back. And now you're gonna step it back even more as you curl the arms, trying to reach the heel towards the floor. Taking it back, don't force anything though, and bring it forward. So it's small little steps, taking it back for two. And here's three, two more. Tapping it back for four, last one, and five, and bringing it forward. All right, so we're gonna have a seat. And we're just gonna do some various strength-like moves, but with moving stretches. So we're bringing our arms in what I call the goalpost position. You're gonna reach both arms up and then we're gonna take it over to a bend to the left. So reach both arms up, bend to the left, lower the left arm down, get that stretch, come back up, lower the elbows. Now the other side, so come all the way up to the right, Right arm comes down towards the floor. Come back up, lower the elbows. 
And again, reach up as high as you can over to the left, lower that arm, bring your body back up, lower the elbows and reach up all the way to the right. Drop that right arm down all the way up and bring him down. We're gonna go one more each side. So all the way up over to the left and up, elbows down all the way up over to the right and up and taking it down. So I'm just gonna change my goalpost position. I'm just rotating and I'm just gonna reach forward as far as I can, pushing my back away. And then as I come back, I'm gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together. If your arms get tired, you can always lower them down and reach out like this and squeeze like this. All right, so here we go. Reach it out, push the back away, belly button in, come back up, reach the elbows back as far as you can, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And again, reach it out. It's almost like a different version of a cat cow, pull, pulling that back and come all the way back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Two more, just reaching it out and bringing it back. One more, reaching it out and bringing it back and relaxing. So bring your arms to your sides. I have like that 90 degree angle. And we're just gonna lift our elbows up as high as we can. Be mindful if you have shoulder issues. So we're just gonna come all the way up as high as you can and bring it down. You can. It's okay to feel mild tension. It's not okay to feel pain. Bringing it up, so try not to let the hands drift closer to that to each other. Bringing it all the way up. The hands don't like each other, so they don't wanna get near each other. Taking it down. Let's go for two more. All the way up, all the way down. One more, all the way up, all the way down. So now my palms are facing up. I'm gonna reach out front. And then I'm gonna come tap my shoulders. If that's not good for you, then lower the elbows down. So reach all the way out, come up, tap the shoulders if you can, reach out, bring the elbows back in. Reach out as far as you can, curl, reach and bring it in. Let's go for three more, just reaching it out with a curl, reach and in. A few more, reach it out. Curl, reach, and in. Let's go for one more. Reach it out. Curl, reach, and bring it back in. All right. So we're leaning forward slightly. My palms are facing my body. I'm going to lift my hands up as far as I can. Pinkies up towards the ceiling, but don't strain anything. So slowly come up as high as you can, getting that nice stretch and just slowly bring it down. We're gonna do a few more and hold the last one a little bit longer. So bring it up for two. Again, don't strain anything, only go to the level that is safe for you. Bringing it up for three. And bring it down. We're going for two more, all the way up for four. And bring it down. Now remember, we're gonna to have to hold this one up for a count of 10. So hold it only where it is safe for you for one, two, three, four, low if you need to, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and bring it all the way down. So we're gonna bring the arm slightly behind our back. If you can interlace your fingers, do so. If you can't, then don't strain or force it. I'm bringing those shoulder blades back and I'm reaching my knuckles down towards the chair. So all I'm doing is just reaching down. So if that bothers anything, ease up, don't do it. Use common sense, Opening, holding that sh shoulder blade, squeezing together, opening up the chest. Good for your posture. And then just relax. So we're just gonna bring our shoulders. Now we're, we're always told up nice and tall, shoulders back, chest out and all of that. Now I'm gonna tell you to bring your shoulders as close together as you can to feel the shoulder blades separate from each other. So just bring those shoulders as close as you can, almost just almost reaching your hands in the opposite direction. 
and bring yourself back up. And now come forward again, bringing the other arm on top, separating the shoulder blades, feeling that separation and come up one more with each hand on top. So bring that over, press the back away and come up. One more time, take it over, press the back away, and bringing it up. All right, so we're gonna take it to some upper body, some neck movements. So be mindful if you have neck issues. We're gonna take it a little bit quicker first, and then we're gonna be holding some positions a little bit longer. So we're just gonna be turning our chin to the right and the left. We're gonna do that a few times if you, feel like you're getting dizzy, you may want to just shut your eyes a little bit or whatever, leaves that or just don't do it. So look all the way over to the right and then over to the left. We're going to go five times. If that's too many, do less. Over to the right, over to the left, taking it for three to the right and to the left. And here's four to the right and left and five and other side. So you're gonna look over to the right and hold it there. And then I'm gonna tell you to drop your chin, tapping towards the collarbone three times. So first we're holding. So look all the way over to the right, lining up your chin with the collarbone, hold that position. And now just slowly drop your chin towards your collarbone. as far down as you can, and then lift up just to a level chin. And again, lower the chin towards the collarbone and lift up. One more time, lower and hold it here. And lift up. And now look all the way over the left, as far as you can without forcing anything. We're gonna be tapping the chin towards the collarbone so slowly just lower your chin as far down as you can and lift up and again, lower that chin and lift. One more time, lower and hold it here a little bit and lift and look towards the center. So we're gonna be doing some neck rolls and we're actually just gonna be going side to side several times. Usually I look to the side, we come looking front and then we go back. We're gonna do it side to side a little bit more. So look all the way over to the right, drop your chin, roll it across from right to left, left to right, and right to left, left to right. We're gonna try for two more right to left, left to right, one more, right to left, and left to right, and bring your head forward. So you're gonna lower the right ear to the right shoulder, holding that position. If you can, you're gonna lower the left arm towards the floor. Try reaching it out a little bit more to the side. Be mindful of what you're feeling. You can also try taking your right hand at that left temple if that works for you. You can also try placing that left hand behind your back. And then release the hand behind the back. Release the hand at the head, slowly bring your head up. Now try lowering that left ear to the left shoulder, hold it there. Reaching the right arm towards the floor. Try reaching it a little bit out to the side. And try taking the left fingers at that right temple, only if that's okay for you. and right hand behind the back. And then release the hand behind the back, release the hand at the head, bringing your head up. So we did some shoulder 
hugs earlier. We did them very fast. We're gonna take it into a very slow shoulder hug. So you're gonna take your hands, nice deep inhale up, turn the palms away, exhale, bring the arms down and back. Now slowly bring the arms forward with the right arm higher than the left. Reach for your shoulders and hug and stay there, trying to reach as far as you safely can, just almost even grabbing your shoulder blades as long as that doesn't hurt anything. Just gonna hold it for a little bit. And then we're just gonna release the arms, let them flow down. And now let them flow forward with the left arm higher than the right, reaching for those shoulder blades, holding that position. and bringing the arms down. So we're gonna take it into an even deeper shoulder stretch. Be mindful if you have shoulder issues. If you do and you like the gentler one, you can just stay in this position. Otherwise, we're gonna bring the right arm out to the side, slowly bring the arm to the center, left hand palm up, reach for the forearm and just guide that straight arm across your chest. For that deeper stretch, you can slide that right arm to the center of the left and hug it in. Getting a much deeper stretch here. If that's too deep, go back to holding it by the forearm. And we're just gonna hold that a little bit. Ideally, we should be holding our stretches 30 to 60 seconds, which is a very long time. And releasing the arm. Doesn't seem that long until you're actually standing there holding a, a stretch. So now take it to the other side, bring your left arm out to the side, slowly come to the front right hand, palm up, reach for that forearm, bringing it across your chest. You can go right to that deeper one if you know, know that, otherwise slide it and bring it in. So if you do know the deeper version as we're doing the stretches, you can go right there and not have to wait for it. I always do things in layers just so that we take it step by step. And you can always stop at the stretch that is appropriate for you. And then just releasing that arm. So we're gonna bring our arms up towards the ceiling, straight up, reach for your opposite elbows, holding that position, taking it over into a little bit of a side bend to the left and up and over, side bend to the right. And coming up. And now if you can imagine taking that left hand and actually just pull that elbow up even more. So you're a little bit lopsided and now go to the left again in this position, getting a deeper stretch there. And coming back up, let that right arm just sink back to where it belongs. So now take the right hand and lift the left elbow up. It's like you're pulling it out of the socket, getting that deeper stretch. Then take it into a side bend over to the right. And bring yourself back up and let the elbow just come down, shoulder back into its place and drop the elbow down. All right, so we're gonna take it into a little bit of a forearm stretch. So let's take it in a gentle position first, stretching out the forearms and the fingers by bringing the arms up. Nice deep inhale, prayer hands overhead. Exhale, come to the center of your chest. And then just breathe normally. Rotate your fingertips towards me. And now up and over towards yourself. A little more awkward. Fingertips towards the ceiling, interlace your fingers, flip your palms and reach out towards me, stretching out the hands. Now be mindful of the elbows. I'm just bringing my arms down. My elbows are rounded. We don't wanna lock them out like that because we're just causing a little bit of stress on the joints and we don't wanna do that. We cause enough stress in our daily lives. We don't need to add to it. And just bringing the arms down. We're gonna deepen that stretch even more. So take that right hand like you're saying, stop. Left hand gently pulls the fingers back. Feeling the stretch to the fingers, the hand, and the underside of your forearm. And for an even deeper stretch, should you want that, 
The palm is up, the fingers are down, but you could stay where you were if that was appropriate for you. And then you're just gonna let that right hand flop over. Left hand puts gentle pressure on the back of the right hand. And let's take it to the other side. So now the left hand is saying stop. The right fingers gently pull the left fingers back, getting that stretch in the hand and the underside of the forearm and the fingers, holding that position. If you do a lot of intricate work, knitting, crocheting, bead work or whatever, this is a great stretch for you. For that deeper stretch, you can turn your palm up and bring the fingers down for that little bit of a deeper stretch. And releasing that hand, letting your left hand just flop over. The right hand puts gentle, gentle pressure on the back of that left hand. And releasing that hand. We're gonna take it into a little bit of some lower body stretches. Just moving my water because I know I'm gonna kick it. All right, so we're gonna take it a little bit wider stance, feeling stretch in your hip, hip flexors. If you have hip issues, you know not to come too far out or do just what you've been told is safe for you to do. Now in this position, I'm keeping a flat back and I'm just leaning forward. As I'm leaning forward, I'm putting more pressure on my hands and I'm separating my legs even more. Then I'm gonna lower my right shoulder towards the floor, which pushes even more on that right thigh. And gently coming back to that center, then that left shoulder is going to dip a little bit lower. And coming back to the center and slowly bringing myself up. So we're going to do a little bit of a variation on a yoga warrior by bringing the arms out to the side. We're going to go side to side a little bit faster. And on the last one, we're going to hold it. So we're going to do four. So taking it over to the side, forearm on the thigh, left arm up to the ceiling, and now slowly come out of it and take it over to the other side with the right arm up to the ceiling. And again, taking it over to the right, the left hand up, over to the left with the right hand coming up. We have two more, take it to the right again with the left arm up, reaching up as high as you can, over to the left, right hand up, so now on this next one, we're gonna stay there a little longer. So come over to the right, the left hand is up. Either stay in this position, if you can drop the right fingers towards the floor, do so. In front of the leg is a little harder, behind the leg is a little easier. You choose, or you can keep your arm on your thigh. So we have some options here. We don't have to do all of them. Not every stretch is appropriate for every person, so you have to figure out which ones are good for you. Slowly bring yourself up over to the other side where we're gonna stay here for a little bit. Reaching up, you have the option just to stay right here or to make it a little bit harder. Hand behind the thigh or in front of the thigh. Reaching towards the floor. Imagine somebody's grabbing your hand and pulling you up to the ceiling and someone else is grabbing the other hand, pulling you towards the floor. And slowly bringing yourself back up and bringing the arms down. So we're gonna stretch a little bit of the legs, back of the legs. So you're gonna bring your right leg out with the heel on the floor, your toes are up to the ceiling, that straight leg. And just keep a flat back and just lean towards the leg, feeling that little bit of tension on the back of the thigh. If you're able to safely reach towards your toes, then do so if you can reach towards the floor. Again, whatever's safe for you, be mindful of the chair that it's not gonna slide out from under you. And if you are way down here and you're concerned about getting up, you can take the left hand 
in the left thigh. Use that arm to bring you up. Don't put any weight on that extended straight leg. So now we're gonna do a figure four stretch, which stretches the glute area, the outer thigh hip area. That way we're gonna do that is either cross your right ankle in front of the left, opening up that hip, or bring that right ankle on top of the left thigh, if you've done that before. Pushing down on the inner thigh, provided you don't have any hip issues. And then just leaning forward a little bit. And now we have that glute stretch in our figure four. Slowly bringing ourselves back up. You're going to take the left hand in the center of the right thigh. Use that leg for leverage as you just push against it to twist looking all the way to the right. Again, never forcing anything. Bringing yourself to the center again. We're gonna slowly rotate the ankle five times as big and slow as you can. That's one, I'm gonna crack in here, and two, and three, and four, good. Just the foot, not the leg, and five. Now reverse that circle, bring it around for one, and two, Here's three and four and five and bring that leg down. A lot of these moves you can do while you're watching TV during your commercials. You can designate a different stretch for each commercial. All right, bring that other leg out. The heel is down, the toes are up. And just by leaning towards that leg, I start to feel a little bit of a stretch in the back of my leg. Reaching your hands towards your toes, towards the floor. Again, whatever is safe for you. Keeping that flat back. And in order to safely come up, you can take your right hand in the center of the right thigh, helping your body to come up, not putting any weight on that extended knee. Figure four stretch wherever you're able to, either at the ankle to ankle or bring the leg up if that works for you. Again, only what's appropriate for you. Putting a little bit of pressure on that inner thigh if you have no hip issues. Flat back, leaning forward. Feeling that outer hip thigh stretch. And slowly coming back up, taking that right hand in the center of the left thigh. Use that leg to press against as you twist to look all the way over to the left. And coming back to the center, you're going to slowly rotate as big as you can. Five times, circle that ankle for one, two, three, four, Five, reverse that circle around for one, two, three, four, one more, and five. So we're gonna do a few knee hug-ins. So we have a couple of options to hug the knee in. The easiest one is just reaching for the back of the thigh and just kind of pulling your body in towards your thigh. The next level of difficulty would be reaching for the back of the thigh, pulling that knee in. And the hardest or the little most intense would be to actually hug your knee in like this. We're gonna be alternating, bringing our knees into our chest or our chest down to the knee. So you pick what's good for you. So slowly bring that right knee in, whatever way is good, giving yourself a nice knee hug in and reach it down, almost like a super slow march, other knee bringing it in with that hug and reach it away and right knee in and release. Now other knee, left knee in and release a few more. Just hug that knee in, tuck your chin and reach it back and other side, hug the knee in, tuck your chin and reach back. One more on each side, hugging it in and reach Last one, hugging it in and reach and bringing the arms down. So we are gonna do a seated roll down. I'll turn a little sideways so that you can see. I have my hands just on my thighs. 
I'm going to start from the top. Think of if I had a strand of pearls and I was letting them fall one at a time towards the floor, each pearl would hit separately. Think of your spine as the string of pearls. And we want to curl each vertebra independently. So you're going to start with your chin to your neck, starting with the very top vertebra, pushing that stomach belly button away from you as you're just rolling yourself all the way down. You can keep your hands on your thighs and just take it to this level or roll all the way down towards the floor, stretching out the spine. And then to roll back up, you can place your hands on top of the thighs if you need that assistance. Otherwise, you're just going to roll yourself back up if you know you're safe to do that, coming all the way up. We're going to go for two more. Chin to the neck, rolling yourself down. We're going a little faster now that you have the gist of it, taking it down. Feeling that stretch in the mid to lower back in a good way, slowly taking it all the way up. One more time, chin to the neck, roll yourself down. And slowly roll yourself all the way back up. So we're going to take it into a seated cat cow, which is a little bit different. I'm not going to roll all the way down. I'm pushing my spine away as I'm reaching my hands forward. And then I'm going to be sliding my hands towards my hips as I reach all the way up, opening up the chest. So we're not going down towards the floor. We're gonna be pretty upright. So slide your fingers towards your knees as you push your back away, curling that back. You can slightly tip your chin, back is away. And now slowly slide your hands towards your hips. Reach your chest out, nice and proud. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And again, slowly tip your chin, reach your hands towards your knees, push your back away, and slowly come all the way up, chest proud, squeeze the shoulder blades together. We're going to go for one more, tucking the chin, press the spine away from you, reaching it out, and slowly coming all the way back up, chest proud, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and relaxing. So we did a standing shimmy. We're gonna do a little or a rib slide, however you wanna call it. We're gonna do a seated version. It might be a little easier because while you're seated, you're not really gonna be able to move your hips too much. You can bring your hands out to the side. You can lower them down. We're gonna to go to the left first. So imagine you're sliding the top half of your body off of the bottom half. So just sliding it away, not leaning, but just sliding. Taking it over to the left for two and over to the right. We're gonna go for one more each side, over to the left and over to the right and back to the center, bringing the hands down. So we're gonna take it into a nice deep inhale. And as we inhale, we're gonna be lifting your heels as far as you can, stretching out the front of the ankle and then hands up, eyes up. So inhale, heels up, hands up, eyes look to the ceiling, but don't move your head. Exhale, lower the hands, lower the heels, lower the eyes all the way down to the floor. One last time, inhale up, everything comes up, hands, the heels, the eyes. And exhale, everything comes down, the hands, the heels, and the eyes. All right, thank you for joining me. We'll see you next Have a wonderful 